Now after I did my Zion Williamson video, another highly requested build was the 6'3 John Morant build. When it comes to pie charts, you could technically go with the pure slasher pie chart. You'll end with the 99 driving dunk, but you'll be lacking tremendously in the mid-range and three-point area. Also, Morant is really quick with his dribbles and he's an excellent passer. So we're gonna go with the playmaking and slashing pie chart. This will get us as close to Morant as possible. Now, usually in the demo, I go with the speed pie chart because I'm trying to get him as close as he would be if I had the full game and I had him at 99 overall. But that's not really my first choice. When it comes to his physicals, I'd go with the vertical and agility pie chart. Even if we don't know how much vertical is gonna affect the point guard in 2K21, I wouldn't want to take any chances on missing out on a 96 vertical, a 96 acceleration, and a 97 speed. So for the sake of this demo, I'm going with the vertical and agility pie chart anyway. Now we're going to set his attributes. As always, I have to have a minimal of six defensive badges. If you don't value defense, you've come to the wrong channel. And when you add this all up, he comes away with 59 badge upgrades. Now your first instinct might be to go with a compact body shape, but when we reduce his weight to increase his speed and acceleration, he becomes extremely skinny. So trust me on this, go with Defined. And he's 6'3", drop his weight down to about 182 pounds for 91 speed and 90 acceleration. Now I increased his wingspan to 82.2 so I can unlock the pro contact dunks right out the gate. You could increase his arm length one more and get an 85 driving dunk, and you'll get the elite contact dunks, but you're gonna take a big hit to three point shot and mid range. I'm pretty sure all of us can get to a 96 overall and maintain it. So just go with 82.2. This way at 99 overall, you'll have a 73 ball. And that's pretty good for a playmaking slasher. And if you add a plus four to his perimeter defense, lateral quickness and steal rating, he'll be no slouch on defense. If you built him like me, you'll have three options for takeover, including shot creator. But this year I'm going with Playmaker. You'll still get a plus five to your driving dunk, which will give you a 90 plus dunk rating. But this way you'll drop defenders and still get the posterizer. If you go with Slasher, you're not gonna be able to drop defenders, so you won't get them ankles and a body. If you made them correctly, you have a slashing Playmaker similar to Jamal Murray, Isaiah Thomas, and Ja Morant. This is your Ja Morant build. Now let's go ahead and get these badges right. Now we all remember when John Morant almost ended Kevin Love's professional career. So we gotta give him Hall of Fame contact finisher and Hall of Fame giant slayer. A playmaking slasher with nine shooting badges can go a long way, but make sure you always tack on range extender gold. When it comes to playmaking, there's so many different things you can do, but if I was playing Park, I'd probably give myself tight handles Hall of Fame so I could stun my defender and go right to the rim. Now usually I go with gold clamps and gold pickpocket, but we're playing against the AI and I don't mind chasing him down. Now diving into the gameplay. First thing I want you guys to notice is my body shape. I'm not too skinny. He's got pretty big shoulders, which means he's no pushover on defense. If you go with slight or compact, he's just gonna be way too skinny to keep his opponent in front of him. And you're just not going to like the overall look in general. I've tried it in this demo, and it didn't look good at all. In 2K20, I used to think, what's the point of making this build when you can make a two-way playmaker who's pretty much the same thing but with better defense? But this build does come away with a much better jump shot, and obviously he's a better dunker in general with Hall of Fame finishing badges. So this is a great build if you love dunking on people, especially if you like taking ankles and then catching bodies. And looking at the gameplay, the score is 41 to 16, just an incredible blowout. One of the best ways to run up the score against the AI is to use your speed off ball. Give it to someone else, cut to the basket. But look at that spin move, blowing past defenders and dunking on them. That's gonna be a fun move, especially with tight handles Hall of Fame. You're gonna freeze your defender with that. And then you're gonna explode to the rim like this. Look at that animation. <laughs> I thought he was gonna dunk on Giannis. And if you chose the physical pie chart that I chose, in TakeOver, he's going to be all 99s aside from strength. So just imagine being a 99 speed, 99 acceleration, 99 vertical, straight up dunking on people. Remember, it's a plus 8 to your physicals with Jim Rat and 99 overall. And we're heading into halftime up by 33 points. In a lot of ways, this is my 2K18 build, the playmaking slasher. 
that D Rose Russell Westbrook hustle Westbrook videos I used to do. You should be able to five out an ISO, kick out to open shooters, or toss up a lob to the big man if they try to play help defense. They can't leave you wide open with a 73 ball. You'll definitely knock down your mid range shots. As I kick over to Kawhi Leonard for that swift assist. assist. Look at the score, 73 to 31, just blowing past defenses and dunking on them. Too bad you can't just drop people with ankle breakers and really posterize people consistently in this demo. I have seen some posterizer clips, so I know it can be done, but I'm just saying, that's definitely a demo issue. And speaking of a demo issue, I hope we don't get this in the full game. We, this is terrible. I'm lucky I made that free throw. And make sure you guys are playing for a good team in my career mode if you want to rep up fast. You want to blow these teams out, exit out quickly, end games fast. You don't want to be struggling, playing for a bad team, scoring all the points and still losing. So the score is 98 to 41. I'm trying to score 100 points and we get it on this play. And I'm sitting on 48 points myself, two seconds left, trying to score 50. And I don't get it because the buzzer sounds, but it was still close. It's your boy Shake. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, subscribe, smack that like button, and turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next one. So now let's take a look at a comparison from last year's two-way playmaker in the demo that I did when I initially created the quadruple archetype. Starting from the top, the most noticeable is the hit to the driving dunk. In 2K20, you came out the gate unlocking all the dunk packages. And when you take a look at shooting, there's an obvious hit to mid-range and three-point shooting.